my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I will be showing you guys my empties from the last couple of months. I always keep everything that I finished all up and I really like to see these videos myself to see what people recommend and what they didn't really like. So yeah, I will show you guys all of the products that I all finished up. And yeah, if you are excited to see this video, please don't forget to give the huge thumbs up. And of course, if you are new here on my channel, I'm a Dutch girl and I'm living in Marmaris, Turkey. And I make a lot of beauty related videos, lifestyle vlogs. So if you like that, make sure you subscribe. And now let's get started. Okay, so I will start off with the shampoo and conditioner uh, that I all finished up. And this is from L'Oreal. And it's all writing in Turkish. And this is a shampoo and conditioner for like, fine hair and there's writing that it makes your hair more soft and that it doesn't fall, fall out uh, that quickly but to be really honest it's not my favorite from L'Oreal I tried a lot of different shampoo and conditioner uh, from L'Oreal but yes like I said it's just not my favorite it didn't make my hair that smooth as I would have liked so yeah, it's just not my favorite of L'Oreal I'm um, just being really honest with you and they have better shampoos and conditioners out there. So yeah, these are the first two things that I finished all up. Then moving on to a baby oil, and this is from Dalin. And this is a baby oil with aloe vera in it. And it was also a little bit of a green color. I really like this baby oil. If you saw my favorites video, I have another one now from Dalin, a, a spray bottle which I also really like and yeah I just love to use baby oil after I shower it just makes my skin really soft and I love the smell of it and yeah I always use a baby oil instead of a, like a body butter or something like that I just prefer a baby oil um, so yeah I would really recommend buying this and I believe Dalin is a Turkish brand so if you live in Turkey, you can find this everywhere. Then a makeup remover from Trekleister, and this is a Dutch brand, so this is for my Dutchies. This is a makeup remover for sensitive skin with no perfume or alcohol in it. And I picked this up last year in the Netherlands, so I used this for a very long time. Um, I have to say I really liked it. It didn't irritate my skin. So if you have a sensitive skin and this is perfect for you. It was also very cheap. It was like one euro something, two euros. So yeah, really cheap as well. And I just really like that there is no perfume or alcohol in it because uh, that can irritate your skin and it can dry out your skin as well. So yeah, make sure if you look for a makeup remover that there's no alcohol or perfume in it. I have a new one now from L'Oreal. Um, but just, I really like this one and it's very budget friendly. So if you live in the Netherlands, you can definitely give this a go. Then I finished up to nail polish removers. I always like to change up my nails and I went for white this time. So yeah, I go through these quite quickly and I finished up this Benry uh, nail polish remover. And this is with strawberry scent and it smells really nice. So that's what I really like about it. And this is from the shop uh, Gratis. Gratis. I don't know how you pronounce it in Turkish, but it's a Turkish brand. And then I also finished up this Gulsha, and this is definitely a Turkish brand. And this is also quite good. It just smelled like a regular nail polish remover, not with a special scent or something. They were both great. So yeah, I finished up those. Then I also finished up this Soft and Gentle Wild Rose and Vanille deodorant. If you follow me longer, you know that I only want to use now natural deodorants. So I wouldn't repurchase this one because I have now one from um, Veleda and one from Lovely and they're all natural. So yeah, I wouldn't repurchase this one because like I said, it's just better to use a natural deodorant because um, deodorants with aluminium and alcohol and everything like that, it can cause breast cancer. So yeah, I'm just done with using these ones. And I'm really happy, especially with the Lovely deodorant that I use, it's amazing. And like I said, it's all natural. So um, yes, I will link that down below for you. So yeah, just to be really honest, I don't go repurchase this one. Then I finished a day cream that I have also for quite a while. And this is from Yves Rocher. And 
minutes to hydrate vegetal moisturizing cream with SPF at 25 in it and this is for normal to combination skin and I really like this cream it made my it made my skin quite soft and I had a lot of acne going on uh, a few months ago so I had definitely like a combination skin but also quite dry so my skin is really weird but I'm really happy because all of my acne is gone I have another one that I use right now but I did really like this one so Yves Rocher has quite a lot of nice products a lot of nice creams and they are also not too expensive but here in Turkey they are quite expensive because of the lira and euro difference but in euros it's quite reasonable I would say so yeah a really nice day cream and then the last product that is all finished is this essence liquid ink eyeliner and I use this a lot but maybe you noticed that in the last couple of videos I don't wear any eyeliner <laughs> that's because it's all finished up now uh, but yes this is one of my favorite uh, eyeliners it doesn't smudge it applies really nicely and it's very budget friendly because it's essence and essence is such a great brand I have a lot of their products and yeah like I said very budget friendly so I would really recommend buying this eyeliner it has a very thin brush so you can apply your uh, eyeliner quite nicely so yes these are all the products that I finished up and um, if you have a product that you say you have to try it please let me know in the comments down below I always like to discover new things so um, yeah if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you subscribe I upload twice a week every Wednesday and Saturday and of course you can also follow me on Instagram and I hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos bye